Hey there folks, this is GunyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Tormented Souls. This is episode 8 in the last episode. We made it into the maternity ward after all this time. And it feels like we're running out of places to actually explore in the mansion, in the hospital, so... That's a... That's a positive. We might actually be getting out there. I thought it would be a smallish area and then you go on to another one like Resident Evil Zero, but it's turned out to be a big old area. Anyways, delivery room. We made a year for the safe room. Next up, we got the newborn room. I'm surprised the delivery room hasn't got a, a safe sort of a radio symbol like the examination room down by there. But it doesn't, so. Newborn room is next. Oh. Oh. Not where I was expecting to turn up then. Oh, we came through the newborn room. Oh, see. Alright then. Let's keep cracking. We haven't been here, so. An oil painting of an archangel brandishing a weapon. Okay. And a shield, and a shield. Don't forget the shield. Ooh. Ooh! Collect all of them. Yes! We got them all! I was lucky. <laughs> um, William, they have taken the girls. Father put his head to him my drink, but luckily I realised before swallowing it. I tricked him into believing that I was sleeping soundly, uh, then got up and crossed the hall towards the meeting room, where I could see the light from under the door. We saw in the other diary that she was telling William they've taken the girls. Is... is... am I... Mi get mixed up, or is, is it repeated? I put my ear against the metal and could hear my father's voice intertwined with other men. Everything's ready for the ritual. The wild burger girls have been taken to the temple. The temple? Are we going there? Said a voice I did not know. Perfect. If everything goes as planned, I will be the next leader of the Pollock sect, and together we will bring our saviour back to the world, answered my father. So it's all a cult sort of thing, innit? After that, they walked in line towards the mausoleum. I must rescue my girls. If I do not come back with them, I hope you can forgive me. I know that you will do what is right. I love you. Here we go. That's wrapping up her sort of diary section. An oil painting of an archangel branch and a weapon. Another one, but a different, different picture. Um, I can hear the enemy, but I can't see him. There he is. Oh, he's just. <laughs> there we go. Don't just spew on me, you little shit. Yeah. Down in one. I love the shotgun. What if we'd miss the shotgun? What would we do? Oh, well. So, we can't change the date, or can we? Oh, we can. Okay, so we turn my hand down to the second hand. Oh, you can go to that. How do you know what it is? Come on, man. Let's get file hunting. Oh crap! It went all black and weird, as if as if the um the menu hadn't disappeared. Honestly, I, I don't know how we meant to know. The latest one, I imagine, will be the one. Give me a sec, I'll have a look through files and stuff. Okay, I've looked through a million files and I couldn't find it, and I am gonna have to disappoint you and say that I have looked online for it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's Christmas Day, for some reason. I don't know why. At 8.15.25. It must have been when one of them was born or killed. That's all I can think of. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm disappointed in myself. I got it. <laughs> you actually had to catch it. Ooh, the eye. It's the, the jade eye. Because it specifically said jade before. So if we can get out of here now. Ooh, hello. I won't kill this one. It's no point. Whoa. And I so disappointed in himself. He shook his head. Door unlocked. Ah, let's just go through. I feel like there could have been an item back there. And we're on the other side, but there. I know where we are. Nope. <laughs> let's go. I need more healing items. Ammo wise, we're not doing amazingly, but we're doing okay ish. I know where we are, but I still can't think where we need to go next. Oh, yeah, the office. So it's upstairs. 
need to go back through the meeting room again. That's a very common room, mind. Like, if there were enemies in the meeting room, they'd be dead for me. I'd, I'd be killing them. Oh, I feel so tense playing this game now. Like, before. I th yeah, it felt tense. But, um, I could kill the enemies and be fine. You know, I'd feel fine again when the enemies were killed and out of the room. But now they've all respawned. And if I kill them again, will they just come back again? That's why I'm not killing them a second time. They're just... Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Is it this way? No, no. That's my exam. Back again, and he... I love him. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I was spoiled on that one while record in between recording sessions. I was spoiled on what was coming, and Monster was what I was spoiled on. That's his name, Monster. He's a shit. You can apparently stop him or slow him down, but he won't die. Like Nemesis, you'll never die for good. So it's just a waste of ammo and stuff. So come out of the meeting room, we need to turn left and through here. As long as you don't stop, those suits of armor are fine. So enemies are the issue, I guess. Making you stop. No, I didn't mean to come this way. You can't say there aren't plenty of save points in the game. Like, you, you don't expect them to be every other room. And I guess it's, it hasn't got that um, that modern sort of thing of being able to save or have auto-save all the time, even if I haven't got save points. Oh, stop it. <laughs> um, so it is a bit of a worry when you die, but that makes things more tense in these games. They're meant to be tense. Here we go. <coughs> nice. How did I even get in there? Don't question it. Alright, so what's this about? Something to do with the vinyl, it's gotta be, right? Yeah, it's musical. The notes are like I'm a pretty I'm pretty good at musical stuff, so let's listen to the song two or three times I guess. I think I got it. Right. Um. Yeah. I tried to remember which note seems to correspond with which button. I feel like we've reached a point now where this is the only way we can go in the mansion anyway that we haven't been before. Oh, nails. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Might as well chuck it on. Save a bit of shotgun ammo. Interesting, we found the sewer area of the game. Always got to be a sewer area in games, isn't it? Nobody likes them, but... Looks like we missed the first one of this, and maybe more if there's more to come. Thanks to the stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. Yeah, I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but Grandfather and Suited Men found me again. This time they took me to the sewers under the family crypt. Ooh, she could be coming up. He told me that I wouldn't be able to escape, no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left. Luckily, he didn't notice the light and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. I found what appears to be a bedroom. There's a filthy bed, electricity, even a functioning television. There are boxes of food and a pipe that provides drinking water from above. The smell was terrible. It reminded me of the suited man who struck my father, uh, mother just before she freed us from the metal crosses. Seven years have passed since my last entry. The television that offers only local channels is the one thing that's kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I still hold on to life. 
Blisters have started to appear on my skin. Oh, oh. I can feel a burning sensation. With each passing day, my appetite diminishes, while the vomiting only gets worse. Something's taken over me. Something evil. At night, I listen to the sounds of clanging metal from behind the door that leads to the underground temple. After all these years, I'm still unable to sleep with these noises ringing out. Hmm. Okie doke. Let's have a listen here. I'll try that door now. Try map. No, can't see where we are now. Where? 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 Outside of all that. Oh, I did not expect to see him. We'll get a shorty on for him. He's a big guy. Ooh. Did he miss? Couldn't have missed, sure. I can't find the shorty. Right. I wish you could move things in the inventory like you can in Resi 4 and stuff. No, he is dead. He did go down in one. I thought he was big, so maybe he wouldn't, but he did. Is that just one full circle? No, it's not. That's where we need to go, so I want to go through the door up here first. I need some morphine. Like, morphine, I'm very good in this game, but... Oh, never mind. But, uh... It's better than nothing. Another one? Bertram Wildberger's Diary. Finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me through this book and from the hand of the Creator. Right now I stand inside the sacred temple. In the presence of a god waiting to be reborn, I can clearly see my destiny. I'll dedicate my life to the rebirth of the Pollux sect. Together, we'll bring back our saviour, so we may return light to this wicked world. Okay. You, you do that. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> William Wildberger's Employee ID Card. What's that for? In the hospital somewhere? Where do I use that? I don't know where to use that. Let's check the... Is there somewhere down here I should be able to use it, maybe? Or did I only come down here for that? Like, there's a door that opens from the other side kind of thing, so there must be another way to go as well, right? If I had a map, I'd have more confidence in where I'm meant to go. Because I can check that a million times, you know. Nah, that seems to be it down here. Ooh. No, I thought it was a ladder going down. Back up, then. I can't think of where... Being everywhere there... And down there and everywhere there. And these are room, all the operations, things we've done, all our dressing room, we've been... Reception, we've been through there, we've been through all of that intensive care stuff. Uh, basement. Been through there, been through the morgue, definitely. Boiler room and all that stuff, yeah. Through the pharmacy dentist room, we've done that. Uh, maternity ward and all that, we definitely did that, so yeah. West floor one. Warehouse, we did the kitchen closet. Was there another something else on the computer I could have used? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, I, hmm. This is where streamers get the advantage. You can just <laughs> look at the chat. Um, Okay. Okay, there's only one place I have been that we haven't done something about, and that's downstairs from the main hall, and there was that one little thing there. So maybe we got every key item we need. We got the key dial, which could be could be something to do with it. We got a frozen blood medallion, which I think does. An ID card, which I can't remember if there was a slot for it. So that's where we're going next. Ugh, bloody hell. 
I heard the music. <laughs> That's a relief mind that he disappears when he go back through a door because the other enemies don't, do they? So that's gonna be I don't know what room that is. That's the meet that's the meeting room, yeah. See, this is why I don't do blind games too often. Like blind series, because I I'm just completely reactive. Like I know that's not a bad thing. All the time, but I just don't talk about what I like or what I dislike be very often because I'm concentrating on the game too much, you know? Oh, hello. <laughs> don't spew on the baby. You spewed in the pram. We both know. <gasps> there. Better do that. We, we might be doing one of things now. <laughs> Better kill him off. No, I didn't mean to. No. What we got? Oh, there is an ID slot. So, if we kick things off with this frozen blood medallion, I think. Yeah, that's the easy one. Next is the ID. We'll use that one. Now we've got a puzzle to do for this one, haven't we? So we've got three slots on the bottom right. No, see? Three slots on the bottom right. But how do you know which way round it is? Right, there's an indent down the bottom. Okay. That don't make sense. If the indent is on the... Can you turn the outside as well? Ah, it turns around, doesn't it, when you put it... Oh, of course it does. So that's that one. The top one needs to be left and down, so I'll be right and down. The top one needs to be left and down. That's, that's it. <laughs> no, it needs to be right and down. Oh, it's awkward. Like, it's, it's tricky. It's not awkward. It's not like there's anything wrong with the game for doing it like this. It's just... Trying to figure it out. Bottom three. Just the left. Oh, another hammer. Don't be stupid. That needs to be like that. Uh, that's right. Alright, so bottom and top right. Turn, turn, turn. Bottom and top right. Okay. And the last one. Top left and down. We'll get it. <laughs> top left and down. There we go. That should be it. I think we got it. Yeah! Sorted. Obsession. <laughs> we made it! I know the front door of the mansion had like a an indent as well, so I guess that's where we're going to end the game probably. Backtrack a lot through. I need to check. I need a map. Can I have a map? Decrepit bathroom. Okay. Safe room music. Thank God. High power charge. Okay, we haven't used that weapon yet. It might be good to have a bit of practice with it. I'm definitely going to save. We've made some good progress today. Uh, there we go. How long have we taken? Four hours 46 so far. And it's going to be a bit more now. I don't think that's too bad. Like, these games are tricky. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. Okay. I just need heal items. I'm not being given any. I haven't had any for ages. And all the enemies have come back. So you'd expect it to be... Lords everywhere. There's not. No morphine anyway. Unless I've missed them. Blatantly that could happen. Nail gun stuff. Good. Better than nothing. Right, okay, so. Should try going off first. Offshoot. Oop, no. Let's go the other way first. <laughs> I 
mausoleum. What is a mausoleum exactly? I've gone through all my life, seeing the name of it everywhere, not really knowing what it is. Hmm. Is it like a type of underground prison? Oh, hello. He didn't notice us. Is this the temple? It looks like a temple, kind of. I thought we were going to be going outside to see the temple. Because you, you know we were going to go there. It's part of the law everywhere. So, you know it. It's just... Okay, he didn't see us. That's good. We can save some ammo. Which way? Okay. Hidden meat in tree. Nice. We haven't had any of that for a long time. Okay, another save. I, see, I feel like we've got tons of that now. If we get the light the back on, maybe? No, I thought we could have lit the candlesticks, but there's no candles in them. Alright. Some sort of heart is placed on a cross. Doesn't look like a painting. Is this a photograph? What does it mean? A heart on a cross. There's a cross. Do we put a heart in there? But there's, there's no indication of it. Hmm. There must be something to do in here, and that must be a pretty big hint, if nothing else. Ooh. Noah's Diary. For years I cursed my destiny, I always thought my birthright had been stolen from me when I, my twin brother didn't survive labour. Hated my mother, I hated the doctors, hated myself the most. We were supposed to tribute our sacred blood to the gods. The sect won't sacrifice a single child. They require twin brothers. Or our god will be unable to grow. Now I understand, my role in our god's rebirth is not to give my blood, but to lead the Pollock sect into his sacred destiny. Alright. Let's get out here then. That must be all this way. Okay, we didn't go this way, did we? I don't like this area. It's not, not because it's spooky so much, but just... I don't know. It feels a bit... Dull to me. Till the enemy comes along, of course. <laughs> down you go. Stay down. See, I used to think they were a mini boss, but they're going down quite quick with a shotgun. With a nail gun and the crossbow, uh, crossbow, crossbar, I'm sure it was tougher. But yeah. What do I do with it? It's like, there's no slot or anything. Dunno, it doesn't seem to... A candle? No? <laughs> Hammer it. You never know. <laughs> Something I gotta do there, but I couldn't even select anyway. Beautiful Archangel subtly lifted his finger. Golden shine from his ring almost blinded me and suddenly the gates of hell were wide open for me. A golden ring. Is that a clue for a statue up by you? Ah, I just saw it. Oh, I thought I was going to have to find a golden ring and put it on there, but nope. I had an easier time of it than that. Okay, let's have a little look around. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Glad we did. Oh, hello. Hello there, good sir. Good thing about this is that I can go around the outside. Oh, no, I can't. Should I just go down? I want to see what's up that way, really, though. Nah, let's go down. This might be a stupid idea. I could have got something good, maybe. I 
Is this area going to be as big as the mansion? At least it feels like I'm making constant progression in this area, like in the mansion. It felt like you are going back and forth a lot, so it didn't feel like you were progressing so much, except for when you used a key item and solved a puzzle. Which, you know, that's, that's good too, don't get me wrong. But... Ooh! <laughs> Skippy shitless. I am using a lot of shotgun ammo now, maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I should be going around the outside of these tables and stuff and using nail gun. Members of the sect again restless, we have fewer twin babies to offer and our attempts to force their conception in the test uh, subjects have wholly failed. We've only managed to get defective specimens, Siamese fetuses that are so misshapen that they are incapable of surviving long after the caesarean section. If this continues, I will lose my position as High Priest of the Pollock Sect. I'm afraid that without my leadership, the other members will grow bolder. This might raise suspicions about our cult. Okay. Probably could avoid avoided that enemy altogether. Door over there. Another diary. Young child's. Okay. Sometimes I dream at night. In my dreams, the wind dances with the smell of flowers. Caresses my face. The afternoon sun paints the clouds behind the mountains in sepia and lilac tones. My heart fills with joy. I'm standing on a beautiful balcony full of plants and flowers, all of them full of life. I go back inside the room and see the wall covered with gorgeous green wallpaper. The place smells wonderfully of lavender. There's a big mirror in front of me. I go to it slowly, unable to resist the curiosity my reflection appears on the glass. That's me, but not exactly. The person in the reflection is clean and treated here. Her smooth skin glows with a slight tan. Her lips are so red as ripe fruit. I admire her for a few moments with nothing but envy and suddenly my chest tightens. Giving, uh, rage poisons my blood and my eyes turn red. I'm given into the murder instinct. I hurl myself to the neck of the person. That person so similar to me, but whose confused eyes betray her as an imposter. I feel the pressure of the blood on her ca uh, carotid artery through my fingers. Her mouth tries to articulate a word, but I push even harder. I'm afraid of what she might say, so I push some more. I wake up in the dark, soaking in sweat. The sound of sewer water and the air currents make me realise that I'm in my room, but the lavender smell carries on, floating a few moments until it escapes completely through the bars. She's dreaming of a better life. Jealous of other people, I guess. Or bitter that she hasn't had, had the good life. Um, or a normal life. Need a map. <laughs> Let's try the door first. Door unlocked. So this will be from the other side of the sewers, won't it? Yeah, it's where we were before. Shortcut back. Good. We haven't found anything here that I can use anyway, so I'd rather carry on looking here first. <laughs> Ooh, that's close. Here we go. <laughs> that was bloody close. Right, where are we to now? I see another diary over there, but... Ah, thought there would have been something up there. Never mind. Can't get over there. I'm not too bothered about missing one or two. I'm getting the general vibe of it all. Shocking shots. Good. We've used quite a few down here. Oh, we're going in. I thought there was something to open. The young child's diary again. Okay. Grandfather Noah came to my prison with a revolver in his hand. When I turned to him, he stepped back but kept the gun level. You're alive, he said, surprised. After all these years, you're alive. I was stunned. It was him. Really him. The man who had imprisoned me and left me forgotten all these years. I wanted to throw myself at him, but he had the gun pointed at me, and I knew better than anyone the terrible physical condition my imprisonment had put me in. This is very fortunate. A sign of God, he continued. I'll finally have the Wild Burger twins together. Once Santa arrives, I'll finally open the vault and gain access to the temple. Just a little longer, my child. Just a little longer. After that, he walked out without turning back. I followed him to the exit, but as expected, he had locked it. This is the last thing I'll write. I've been a prisoner down here all these years. But if he thinks of, uh, he has control of my destiny, he's wrong. To open the temple entrance, he needs a set of twins to offer themselves to retina scanners. He needs the two of us, Emma and me, so we need to find two glass, two eyes, probably. He'll not use my eyes. I'll stop him. The blade's red hot. I have to do this. 
Emma, if you ever read this, do all you can to survive, live a normal life, forget about me, and if you see father, do not tell him that I was locked down here all these years. What I'm about to do myself, I do not want him to see me like that. Let this be my last decision, the final decision I made for myself. I have an, an inkling about what's coming. I just saw something as well. There's a clue for a safe. Morphine. Yeah, Emma, good. Emma, don't come to the vault. Save yourself from hell. It's a warning for Emma, one of the missing twins. It may be possible mm -hmm. that one of the girls is inside the vault. I must find a way to get in. I'm going to give a guess. I obviously don't have a clue. But I think maybe... We are Emma. Maybe. Oh, another mirror. Come on, let's open the vault. I, I get that impression. I can't move it. Oh! To, yeah? Doesn't fit? Oh, no. <laughs> Not meant to fit. Hammer? Alright, so I need to go in the mirror world and sort things, right? Ooh! Weird. Going around on a world. Wheel. I just saw it. Let me, let me. There we go. Okay, so let's save. I think we'll end things off there. We've had a sewer episode, which hasn't been anything exciting. But next time we're going to the mirror, and we'll see what happens next. This has been Queenie XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit for the mirror world. In a bit, folks. Thank you.